Good morning everybody. It is Monday the 15th of August 2022 and I am here at Elgin and behind me you can see the cathedral. Um, I'm here to start a 100th vlog and a journey across the UK to visit 10 sites I've been to in the last 100 vlogs. Decided to be better on reaction. Um, you can come and join me, a bit of enjoyment, see how I've changed and how things have worked out since that very nervous vlog in July 2008. 15 years down the line, here we are. Um, bit more confident on a selfie stick, always trying new things and new ideas, but yeah, let's get to it and welcome to another vlog. I've been preparing this for months, but I still can't seem to get the right words out for this one. Um, <laughs> I'm usually one short when it comes to vlogs. This one's a bit more difficult for me. I'm, I'm struggling to find the words for this. But yes, this is vlog 100, uh, a four part series where I'm going to be traveling across the uh, UK, visiting 10 sites that I've been to on the vlogs before. Today, um, I start at Elgin at the cathedral, which is vlog 93. Uh, technically for me time travel wise I did this in August last year I've been to Elgin since which was near which is Spiny Palace or near Elgin since which is Spiny Palace but that was vlog 90 um, this is coming out um, this has been recorded before Elgin Cathedral gets released in September 2022 so yeah a bit wibbly wobbly this one um, it's only one that's going to happen <laughs> but the idea of this is to revisit 10 sites in the UK that I've been to in the past 100 vlogs um, some of them just as check-in. Oh, there's the site, they're lovely. Um, some of them will be more in depth. I will revisit some of the sites in detail, catch things I missed out last time, explore the areas around them, um, and also get some clips of each of the vlogs um, that originally was there. And hopefully it's all an enjoyable experience for you. But I start today at Elgin. Um, I then travel down to Stirling Castle and I finish the day at Dumbarton Castle. Um, and then tomorrow I start from home and I go down to the south of Scotland before we get to York. Uh, Wednesday I start in York. I'm looking to go to the National Railway Museum if I can do so. Um, I was considering York Minster as well, but I'll see how I go. Um, and then down to Cardiff. And then on the last day from Cardiff, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet in regards to the 10. There's a couple of fluid, fluid, fluidity there bits of fluidity, I can't really say my words now, um, so it's possible I might be doing a couple of things in, in South Wales and then making my way up the road, but the idea is to touch base at Manchester, um, at the Salford Keys, and then up to Cardiff Castle, up to Cardiff, round about the castle, I won't get into the castle by the time I get up there, but I will be in, I will be in Carlisle, not Cardiff, Carlisle, <laughs> um, so yes, that is uh, the plan, let's see how it goes, but I'm just walking in the park, I think it's Lossie Park, um, which is just beside Elgin Cathedral. Let's have a quick visit of the cathedral itself again, um, from the outside, and then maybe have a little walk around Elgin itself and just explore the town in a slightly wider range than I did before. So here we are, the beautiful Elgin Cathedral. Um, I'm not going inside today, I visited that last year. But the stonework and the carvings, you can even see on the front there how intricate it actually is and how it's, well it's lasted over time. Um, but I explored more of that where I actually went into the cathedral in August 2021. Let's have a little clip of it, shall we? The effigy of Bishop Archibald. That's without colour. Will it show me with cover if I press the button? Look at that. That's cool. Yeah. 
I think I've just found my photograph of the title card. <laughs> There's actually a man's house here, just at the side of the cathedral, which I didn't put a filming in for last time. Um, closed off, you can't get into it. But there we are. One of the friends that I have that worked here for, for History Matters, which is a local um, company that does reenactment stuff throughout the year, you get paid for. Um, they get a lot of tourists from different tourist buses come and drop off here, um, particularly South African, are what I was hearing. And uh, one of my friends was actually here on Friday and he got lots of Africans come in. But um, yeah, it's nice being back here again, just seeing it. It's a bit duller than it was the last time I was here, but. That's the nature of the beast. I think it was a bit of a, a semi-warm spell. But the weather is going to be the best here. It's going to be more wet as we go down the road. It is still daylight. It's just, I mean, uh, underground car park or well, multi-story car park so it looks a bit darker that's the tour of Elgin let's travel on to Stirling Castle and um, get the element I missed last time can't believe I did but let's get the element I missed and maybe have a wee meander around Stirling as well but uh, yeah I might need my um, rain jacket by the time I get down there it's a bit of a trip three hours but we'll see how we get on so here we are um, I've reached Stirling Castle in about three and a half hours from Elgin. Uh, interesting drive and journey. I'm not a great fan of the A9 at the moment. I don't know what it is, <laughs> I'm a bit bored to drive. But I'm in the main courtyard here, of all the main exhibits. Um, I'm going to go and find the Stirling heads on the ceiling because I, I last time filmed the exhibition about them but I never actually got the actual Stirling heads on the ceiling and this is the bit I'm missing out on. But when I was here last time, it was 2017, it was October time. Um, it, was on, it was on my week off, my birthday week off. Um, and um, yeah, here is some of what happened on that vlog.
that was embarrassing doing it five years after I last filmed here to find the Sterling Heads. They're in quite plain sight. But I missed them completely because I wasn't looking up. So I looked up this time. <laughs> anyway, time for one more location today in Dumbarton. But let's go have a look at the wider town of Stirling before we go any further. And who could forget, this was the location where the very first end card image was shown. The Wallace Monument striding atop, looking over Stirling. Just like Stirling Castle looks over Stirling itself. Here we are, here is Stirling. One of the streets in Stirling. I'm not going to tour around on this video, I'm going to leave it until um, a video of all its own because there's lots in Stirling that it warrants a video all of its own. Instead, I'm going to make way to Dumbarton after a little walk to get my steps up. So to my last location on day one of vlog 100. I've travelled from the north east of Scotland, I'm now in western Bartonshire, to a place which I have vlogged at more than any other. Um, there's two whole vlogs that include it, and there's a vlog stream when I was experimenting with live streaming before Google decided YouTube people who aren't partners can't actually do live streaming on their phone. However, um, the castle itself is closed here at Dumbarton, so I won't be able to actually go inside because um, the structural damage and uh, they're still surveying stuff at the moment. Um, however, I will be able to get a view of the castle and the Firth of Clyde to finish up the vlog. So that behind me is the governor's house and there's the rock up there. Um, this is Dumbarton Castle from the Peel where we did the shows for Rock of Ages and if I just turn round you'll be able to see that Peel and the Firth of Clyde. Let's have a look at some of the highlights from those vlogs and explore the castle in a bit more detail. Gentlemen, these people are wanting to see a fight. I say gentlemen, but these two are anything but. One's a smell of peasant, one's an even smell of rapture. Everyone wants laces. Everyone wants to eat laces. As you can see, there's more to just hitting each other with swords, kicks, grapples, punches, all illegal here in medieval combat. Oh, I think that's probably a victory to our archer. probably hear there's a bit of noise in the background. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's a couple of hunters about to go marching into the arena, so I'm not going <coughs> to go past them that much. Here at Dumbarton Castle, it's behind me, as you can see. Um, and it's about 2 o'clock now. The weather's lovely. Got my ice cream again. <laughs> it's not quite a finished selfie, this one, but um, there we are. <laughs> I've been around some of the sites, some of them already, spoken to the Antonine Guard with the Romanian green actors, a bit of footage from them. It's alright, on you go. <laughs> um, I've um, had some uh, conversations with um, the medieval Rian actors, carrying 800, maybe showing a bit more interest in them. We'll see. Spoke to the Covenanters Regiment, the Erskins. Um, there's quite a few living history societies around here, going from the Romans through to the Second World War. Um, so yeah, it's, it's um, quite interesting so far.
Look, there's a gargoyle there. I wonder what that's all about. Need to go and find out, I suppose. Underlying trend of Dumbarton Castle. Stairs. So behind me is the French prison. Not open. Um, it wasn't open last time I was here as well. There's a substantial renovations going on in it. It doesn't look as closed as it was, but it's still not open just yet. Um, I'm at the Duke of York's Battery, named after the son of George III. I can't remember which one it was. I'll check that when I get back. Um, but you get a good couple of views here. You've got the Dumbarton Football Club um, ground there. You've got views into Dumbarton over there, which tours all the way around. And then you've got going out to the Clyde there, and over there is Argyle. If you see those mountains that are covered in the cloud in the background, the one that's right in front of us in the middle of the frame is Bedlomond. Now, at the time of recording this, I'm a couple of weeks away from potentially climbing that thing. The camera is actually compensated. It's actually not that light in here. It's a little darker. But this is obviously the gunpowder magazine store. No sparks in the day. Would have blown up a lot more than just this building, I can assure you. That's it, the end of part one, day one of vlog 100. Thanks guys for watching as always. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with the hashtag Team Stockton. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you know when a new video comes out. General, new video every Sunday at 4 p.m. GMT, which is when the next vlog will come out for this. Um, but until next time guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.